Well, I fixed my AC for free. I had a piece of this uh, fuel line laying around right here. I'm trying to see what size it is. This is quarter inch fuel line, quarter inch fuel line. That little piece right there was cracked and broke, see it, and brittle. Look how nasty and sticky and it turned to sand. This one was leaking. Once I plugged these two pieces, I had to cut off of this. I'll show y'all where it's located. And this right here. But I kept, I kept the, it's right here. 2005 Ford Expedition. Your battery. Your motor. Look, I'm just giving the orientation. To the left of your battery, there's a little T connector that runs down behind your ECU connections right here to another little battery thing right there. See it? That little, looks like a fuel filter. And that T connector, you got a little BB hose there, long hose there. And then I capped that off and now my AC's working inside. Let me get in there real quick before I time out. But now, woo, the air's coming through. All my switches are working now because that actuator is what that vacuum line controls. But now I've got cold air blowing and everything. It's working out of all my vents. That simple little issue. So uh, if y'all are having a problem where only your defroster and your, froster and your rear air is blowing, and your, fr your front vents won't work, it's that little connector by your battery. In uh, 04, 05, 06, and I think 07 and 08 expeditions.